Hey guys, it's Felicia with Happily Ever After Living. As you can tell from the title of this video, we are doing a home gym tour. My garage gym is finally good enough. It's finally good enough to where I feel completely comfortable in it. Today is Sunday, January 15th. I just got back from my conference today and I thought today would be a great day to do it. But before we go out in the garage, I wanna say a few things. No, you do not need a home gym in order to lose weight. You guys know I'm currently on my 100 pound weight loss journey. I lost my first 40 pounds without lifting weights. Yes, it's true. People like constantly ask me like, hey, what did you do? What did you do? I walked. I started off doing two miles per day. Then I worked my way up to trying to do at least 10,000 steps a day. But even more so, but even more importantly than that, you guys, I zoomed in, I focused, and I got my nutrition down. Like my nutrition was the most important thing for me. Even though you guys will see videos on the channel like sporadically where I was lifting weights, I would stop because every time I lifted weights, I became extremely hungry. And I just, at the time, I did not know how to balance like the increase hunger with nutrition like I just didn't know how to eat well for that so I, I found myself like overeating and I was also gaining weight I also wasn't in the mental mindset to where putting on muscle mass and like the scale stalling or not going down like I couldn't handle it at the time so I waited you guys I've been on this journey for over a year now actually like I started May 20 May 24th 2021 so for over a year I've mostly just been doing cardio only you can do this the most important important thing is your nutrition so please don't feel like what I'm about to show you like that you need this too in order to lose weight currently you guys know like I'm a physical therapist so currently I'm in a phase of life now where I'm ready to I'm still focusing on weight loss but I'm ready to build the body that I want and I'm ready to build the body as far as like muscle strength goes but also like increased posture and then also just to be stronger overall like that's kind of what I'm going for that's what my goal is for this year so that is why I have treated myself and made a huge investment in myself in the business and also it gives me something to do with my boys as well here at home so yeah that's where you're gonna see all of this come from a lot of this stuff I'm gonna go ahead and start walking out there a lot of this stuff I've, I've accumulated like throughout the years but I'll show you guys everything I have and everything that I can link in the description box I'll be sure to do that as well so let's go I absolutely love it it is not all that but it is good enough for me okay so the light is not that great in here but we'll start with each thing so my treadmill is by the company Proform. Um, if I can find it I'll link it in the description box below. I love this treadmill. It has the iFit built in. I use it for the first year, but currently I just use manual. But what I love most about my treadmill is that the incline goes all the way up to, I think it's like 13 or 15, and not a lot of treadmills do that. And if you know me, you know me. Emergency chapstick everywhere. So I love this treadmill and also not only does it do incline but it also declines to 3% and the reason why that decline was important for me was because I actually injured my right Achilles before and the decline actually allowed me to like slowly build myself back up again until I can walk at like 0% grade and then now I can actually like go up on an incline. So love my treadmill i'll link it in the description if i can find it okay and then we move over here to the squat rack as well as this bench here okay so i know for a fact that we got this squat rack from amazon i'll link it i don't remember the name right offhand but i will link this down in the description bar um we got this during you know you guys know what happened when all the gyms and stuff shut down so that's when we got this and this was like one of my first like big girl purchases. So I got that from Amazon and the same thing with the bench. The bench also came from Amazon. This is by Fitness Reality, but where I save money, this bar I've had, I've had a bar like forever. I'll go through and tell you guys the first pieces of equipment I got before I even did all of this. Actually, I'll just tell you now. This bar, 15 pound plates, 25 plates, pound plates, and like two babies like that's how I started my gym all together like when I lived in another house like that's how I started my gym so this bar is old but it did come from Amazon as well and then I have this bar here which is newer and this bar also came from Amazon but all of these additional weights they were actually used like these came from play it again sports so that's where I got all of these additional weights 
as well as um, like these weights, these clamps, like these all came from Play It Again Sports, as well as um, I had these already, and I think these, like all of these other dumbbells came from Play It Again Sports. This rack right here that's holding these dumbbells came from Amazon. I'll link that in the description bar below. And this, oh my gosh, I am so excited. This is just like, you guys, you're currently, currently in my playground. Like this is Felicia's playground. Like I am so excited. Oh my gosh, like I can't even explain it. Like especially as a physical therapist, just to be able to, just to be able to treat myself the way that I treat my patients. I think that's what makes me extremely happy. But let's look at some more stuff. This isn't about me right now, it's about the gym. So let me show you some more stuff. All right, so this organizational rack, because I needed some organization out here for sure. The rack comes from Amazon. I'll link it in the description bar below. These dumbbells are old. Don't even remember where I got them. It could be like Marshalls or um, TJ Maxx or Ross or something. This came from Marshalls. This came from Walmart. Um, these, I believe I've had these since I was a sprinter in college. No joke. So those are really old. Um, this I've had for quite some time. I don't even remember where I got it from. These weights. Oh, that just made me think about something. Hold on, I have another pair of weights that are not up here. One second. Okay, so I also wanted to show you guys these ankle weights. I actually just ordered these. These are brand new. I have not even used them yet. So what I like about these weights are, like I had these, but I think I'm a little bit more advanced, which is great. Um, with these, they are in five pound increments. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, but you can take out like the sandbag from each one. Like see how that comes up? I could take that out if I wanted to make it lighter. And each one is five pounds. So I love this. Um, and again, they're ankle ankle weights, but you can also use them like for your arms or you know all that good stuff. I need to take that tag off. I'll come back for that. Okay, and then I have my yoga mat foam roller. Um, the foam roller is really good for like muscle tension and all of that stuff um, to elongate the muscles, especially for me specifically, hamstrings, quads, hip flexors, like. Yeah, I'll show you guys some stuff with that. Um, then I have this yoga mat. This is thicker than this one is. And then this one doesn't slide as much. Um, and then I also bought this um, foam roller, which I wanna do some different exercises with these. I saw some exercises using the foam roller. So this one wasn't quite long enough. This one is, so I love that. Then I have my yoga blocks here. Um, I will be doing like some yoga just using like YouTube videos. I am not a pro or anything, but I love the way that, I love the stretches. Like I can't do, I'm not gonna lie to you and say like I do a full 30 minute video. Maybe at some point I'll get there, but I do love yoga stretches specifically for my legs because those seem to get tighter, um, faster. And also this year I want to use yoga for some poses to help strengthen my core. So let's go back to let's go back to the things here. So here I have a jump rope which helps get like your heart rate and everything up. And then I have these discs. Um, I'll have to show you guys like a video of where I'm using these discs. These come from Marshalls, like $4.99. Um, these came from, I think, either Walmart or Amazon many years ago. And then this Pilates circle, this comes from, this is good for like arms and legs and even like core too. This came from Marshalls. So you guys, you don't have to spend a ton of money on exercise equipment. I think this was like $5.99 too. So a lot of this stuff was very affordable. And then also, as I mentioned, a lot of my weights. For the weights, I actually got the weights when the gyms were opening back up and people were offloading like all of their home equipment. So I feel like we got really good deals on them. I don't remember how much they cost, I'm sorry. But yeah, go to like a used store, like Play It Again Sports or check your Facebook Marketplace um, and see if you can find stuff from there. But let's talk about some more stuff. Um, here I have TheraBands and TheraBands, you guys, you can create all the resistance that you want with TheraBands, you really can. And you can have a good workout. 
This, I have not been able to do a full ab roll since I had this thing for years, but hopefully by the end of the year, I can do a full ab roll. Also over here, I have more bands um, because I just, I'm a therapist. <laughs> I love my bands. I love my bands of different resistance. In case you guys don't know, different bands are different levels of resistance. Um, and then I have this band here and I have a pull up bar there so i'll be taking i'll be taking this band and putting it up there to give me like a little bit more assistance with my pull-ups and then hopefully at some point i can move down to a lesser band like one has more tension or resistance than the other obviously and again love my therabands this is a bosu ball which i use a lot with my patients for balance and stability but i'll be using it for myself as well Actually, this is currently like leaking a little bit. Um, my husband, I gotta tell him about this so that he can, I think it may be, see, you guys hear that? Yeah, anyways, he'll put some more air in that, but that's really good for balance and stability. And then you guys know this ball is amazing for your core. You can do exercises like for your abdomen area, for your back, you can do exercises for your upper body, lower body, while you're on that and you're still strengthening your core, like the stability ball is, is bay, it's, it's bay. Okay, then I have my rebounder. This rebounder I got from, oh, I'm sorry, Amazon purchase, Amazon purchase. I'll link them in the description bar. This was an Amazon purchase many years ago. I am that therapist that carries so much equipment in my car, but since you guys know what happened, I don't take as much equipment in the patient's homes. So this I no longer use with my patients, but I did before um, with home health. So I thought I would just bring it in here and I can use it for myself, you know? This is great. Like the rebounder is so great for improving circulation, balance. Um, it's good for digestion. Like just so many amazing things. I'll talk more about that in another video. And then I have a box here for box jumps, for step ups, for ab exercises, core exercises. Same thing here. You can lay flat on this bench. You can you can do everything. You can do step ups, work legs, do all of that good stuff there. And okay, so. Amazon purchase, I don't remember where I got that box. I honestly don't, but I'll look it up and if I can find it, if I can find it somewhere on Amazon, then I'll be sure to link it. Pretty sure this was um, a Marshalls purchase or a Walmart purchase, this mat here. I just put this mat down to keep this from sliding, okay? All right, and then, oh, let's go over here. So this container here, again, you guys know I'm a home health physical therapist. So as I was going through all of my stuff, some of the stuff I already like keep to the side anyways for um, my patients, like I'll probably still use this with my patients, but I also tend to give a lot of stuff away. If any clinicians are watching this video, you know you have those patients that are like all in and you can tell that they're gonna follow through. These I'm not giving away, but I use those sometimes too. They're just, they're harder to clean now and keep clean in comparison to before you know what happened, right? Okay, I used to use these and my patients love like knocking me out with these gloves or whatever, but I'm like hitting my hands and everything. Okay, but I have tons of extra TheraBand. I have things for balance. Um, I have wraps. I have like, I had this from when I injured my Achilles, but I can give it to a patient if needed. I have knee braces. And when I say patients, like patients, but also like family, like when, when stuff comes up and like someone needs a knee brace and a, some type of wrap or like, I, I'm pretty sure I have it. Like I really try to help people out. And sometimes it's my own kids, which is crazy. Um, yeah, so I think there's a heating pad in there. There's a tinge unit. There's some additional stuff, like there's a ton of stuff in there. So this is basically my giveaway container. Um, and then, oh yeah, these go down here. These are the band, the holders for the TheraBand. Put those in there. Now the last thing in the garage is these dividers, the room dividers. Oh my goodness. I absolutely love them. My husband put those up there for me. It allows me to come out here to Felicia's playground and not get distracted. Oh, there's one more thing I wanna show you guys. Okay, so the dividers, they help me to like not get distracted and I can just come out here and focus on like what I came to do. I'll link these in the description bar. Cleaning supplies, we don't need to look at that. Okay, my favorite, most favorite thing 
You guys, ah, uh, you guys, so this is my most favorite thing out here, happily ever after living. This is like where I come to heal my body, my mind, my spirit. Like this is just so amazing. This is my most favorite thing. I actually took my logo, sent it to Walgreens, had it printed, and then got the frame thing from Walmart. And I just feel that this, look at, look at, hold on. I feel that it just totally completes my gym area. It brings everything together. Makes me feel so amazing, so special. I absolutely love it. The only other thing that I would say is like incomplete is the fact that I need to buy more gloves because I only have one glove. Like I thought, I knew I had lost the glove, but I was like, maybe I'll find it eventually. I'm kind of wondering like if my dog did something. I have no idea, I have no idea. So I do need to buy more gloves because for some reason I only have one glove. But other than that, I am so incredibly happy with this space. But I am completely happy with my space and I do want to publicly Thank my husband because I get all of these crazy ideas and I'm just so thankful. I mean, look, you guys, I'm basically like hogging the entire garage, basically. Like he has his little area over there and I'm just so thankful that whenever I get these like ideas that he's just so supportive and I'm so thankful that he took the time to put all of this stuff together for me because I'm just like, this is what I want. Can you do this? Can you make this happen? And like, even when we went during, you know what, to go get all of these weights and everything, at that time I was not strong enough to carry all of this. So I'm thankful that he, you know, carried all of that for me as well. So yeah, I hope you guys love this video as much as I love my new playground, Felicia's playground. Let me know what your favorite part is down in the comment section. Let me know if you have a home gym, what are some things you have in your gym? What are some things you think I should add in the future? I think what I have right now is like good enough for me, but as I get stronger, then maybe I'll be able to add, you know, some heavier weights and some more equipment. Like I would love like a leg press or, a uh, um, total body machine or something. I would definitely love a pulley. Like I wish, I think there's a pulley that goes to this unit. I would love to have a pulley system. I think that would be great. But yeah, that's all. I'm gonna let you guys go and I'll see you in the next video.